Well, today we're going to try recording a little video here about making some Lapua 6.5 by 284 Norma brass into standard 284 Winchester brass. The 284 Winchester is actually the parent cartridge, so really all we're going to do is neck the 6.5 millimeter up to 7 millimeter, which is actually going to be 284, 0.284 inches. The tools we're going to use for this today are the RCBS rock chucker, which you can see I have mounted to my bench with clamps because I like to move things around. The rock chucker will be using the RCBS number no. 3 shell holder, which will snap into place here and mounted in the rock checker press will be the K&N, I'm sorry, K&M Precision Shooting Products case neck expander, which we have here. I've already set the depth stop so that when you operate the press, this little button right here will hit inside the bottom of the case and stop the neck from running into the top of the expander. So what we'll do is we'll just screw this into here. I've already set it for the depth and already set it and put a lock ring on it so that when I screw it in it goes to the right spot. So we'll just go ahead and put the ram back down where it goes. Now I'm a guy that likes to use a lot of case lube because I figure that uh, later when the process is over with, I can throw all the cases into my ultrasonic tumbler, I'm sorry, cleaner, and um, clean all the goop off of it. So I'm not really afraid to use a lot of lube. Uh, the only danger in over lubing would be to produce dents in the case, shoulders, or neck. Um, so I try not to over lube. So what I usually do is, I've already lubed the expander a little bit, so we'll take the cover off of this. Now I have two pieces of brass here that I'm going to um, expand to 7 millimeter, and I don't know if you can see these or not, but they're both case head stamped as 6.5 by 284 Norma. So you have to be a little careful to keep those cases separated and marked correctly so that you don't mix them up with cases that haven't been reformed to 7 millimeter. So normally I take some of this, I just put it on my fingers, put a little bit around the outside, and um, then I take a Q-tip, standard regular old Q-tip, and kind of roll it around a little bit in the lube so I can lube the inside of the case neck like I'm doing here. Again, like I say, I like to have a lot of lube um, on these because um, it makes the whole process smoother. So I'm going to rotate this shell holder a little bit so I can put the shell in here like that. Now all we'll do is operate the handle on the press. We'll move it so it's fully down. That button in the expander will stop it. And it, there it goes through part way. And there it's stopped. So now we have expanded this case out to 7 millimeter. That wasn't too hard to do. And now you can see the case that we've expanded compared to a six and a half millimeter case and you can see that this case here is slightly bigger than this case here. Now before you expand them if you put a mic inside that case you'll find that even though it's listed as 6.5 millimeter the actual interior dimension across the inside of the neck is really about 6.7 millimeters 
and even though you're expanding the case to 7 millimeter, you'll find that if you take um, some kind of a mic and set it for millimeters and put it in here and measure across the case neck and as you'll see just for reloading purposes I use a reasonably accurate um, uh, caliper and I don't know if you can see that it says 7.3 which is a little larger than 7 millimeter. So what happens is the case gets reformed to slightly larger than the size that you actually think it's going to be, 7 millimeter. But as you can see, the, the case was very easily stretched out to 7 from its original 6.5. And of course, as I said earlier, it doesn't change the markings on the head any. So you have to be a little careful to not um, mix your cases up. Keep track of which ones you have resized. So really, that's all there is to that. Um, it's very simple. It's a very small step in enlarging a 6.5 millimeter to a 7 millimeter, which only entails opening the interior size up a half of a millimeter. And the cases I'm starting with today to do this are these six and a half by 284 Norma cases by Lapua. So what I do before I use this brass at all is do this reforming because it's probably at its softest uh, being brand new and recently annealed. I will anneal it possibly again in the future to keep the brass soft as I fire form it and neck size it in the reloading process and fire it again the brass will harden to some degree so I will likely anneal it using the standard um, method where you stand the brass vertically in a little bit of water heat the case neck and then tip it over to stop the annealing process. So that's really as about as simple as it gets. From now on, the process for reloading these 284 Winchester cases that I've just formed is a standard reloading process. Of course, you want to check the neck length and possibly check the neck thickness uh, and depending on how it is and how anal you are about all this, you'll uh, want to take this case and uh, and thin the, the neck brass, possibly. Another thing to watch for as you fire the case and, and reload it is for uh, the, the notorious neck donut to form, which I've heard some people have had good luck with it not forming and others have had a problem with the forming a donut. So you have to watch for that and of course trim the cases to neck length for overall case length and the reloading process is pretty standard after that. I hope this has been a little bit informative. Um, this is my first experience with the K&M case neck expander. It has an expander ball that has a long taper on it so it, when it expands this portion of the case, it does it very gently and I uh, hope this will wind up resulting in very few split cases for me. So anyway, there you go. Um, I'll see if I can get this onto YouTube and we'll see how it works. Uh, thanks for watching and maybe this will work great, maybe not. And I'll try some future videos. Thank you. Bye.